On May 7, 2012, Kaiser Chiefs made a remarkable announcement. Stuart Baxter was unveiled as the new head coach. Little did they know that this decision would pave the way for a period of unparalleled success. Under Baxter's guidance, Kaiser Chiefs achieved a monumental feat, securing the double by winning the Premier Soccer League Championship and defeating Supersport United 1-0 to claim the Nedbank Cup. This triumph marked the end of a seven-year wait for a league title since their 2004-2005 season. Kaiser Chiefs, undeniably one of the largest clubs in South Africa, holds the honour of being the most supported club in the country. Today, we delve into the factors that have hindered this mighty club from capturing any major trophy since 2015. Stuart Baxter, the mastermind behind Kaiser Chiefs trophy triumphs, helmed the team from 2012 to 2015. During his tenure, Chiefs clinched an impressive four titles in three seasons. In the 2012-2013 season, Kaiser Chiefs conquered both the league title and the league cup. Although they fell short in the 2013-2014 season, securing the runner-up spot in the championship, they bounced back strongly in the 2014-2015 campaign, winning the double by claiming the league title and the empty and eight cup. That season, the Chiefs showcased an impregnable defence featuring stalwarts such as Eric Mathoho, Mashamite, Siboni Sogaxa, and Chepo Masalela. Their midfield boasted the talents of Saifi Wei Shibalala, Letzilon Yan, Tanache Nengamache, Willard Katsande, Kosi, and George Maluleka. In attack, they possessed formidable players like Mandla Masingo, George Labesse, Josta Deladla, Kingston and Carther, and Bernard Parker, who emerged as the top goal scorer in all competitions with 14 goals, alongside the league's top goal scorer, Majoro, with 11 goals. The Chiefs' defensive brilliance in the 2014-2015 season was truly awe-inspiring. They conceded a mere 14 goals in their 30 league matches, securing a comfortable victory in the league title race with an impressive 12-point lead over their closest rivals, Mamelodi Sundowns. As the saying goes, what goes up must come down. Chiefs faced difficulties following Stuart Baxter's departure. In the 2015-2016 season, the club appointed former Kaiser Chiefs defender and captain, Steve Comfeller, as the new head coach. However, the decision to hire a coach with no prior experience in winning trophies proved to be a grave mistake. Under Comfeller's leadership, the Glamour Boys reached two cup finals in his first season as head coach, namely the Empty and Eight and the Telcom Knockout Cup. Unfortunately, they suffered defeat in both finals losing to Ajax Cape Town in the empty and eight and to Mamelodi Sundowns in the Telcom Knockout Cup. In the league, Compella's team finished in fifth position, unable to defend their previous year's championship title. In the subsequent season, they secured a fourth-place finish in the championship. In 2018, Kaiser Chiefs experienced a humiliating loss to Free State Stars in the Nedbank Cup semi-final, which led to an unfortunate riot. Fans invaded the pitch, setting fire to an SABC camera and damaging several others belonging to host broadcaster Supersport. Security had to escort Steve Comfeller and the players into the tunnel. That season, Kaiser Chiefs finished third in the championship. Following the game, Steve Comfeller was relieved of his duties as head coach. During the 2018-2019 season, Kaiser Chiefs brought in Italian coach Salinas, who, unfortunately, lasted only nine months at the club due to inconsistent results. The team failed to secure a place in the top eight that season. Kaiser Chiefs endured a barren period, failing to claim any trophies. They suffered a 1-0 defeat in the Nedbank Cup final in 2019 against their national first division side TS Galaxy, with Ernst Middendorp at the helm. The 2019-2020 season saw Kaiser Chiefs come close to winning the championship, only to falter by drawing with Barocco FC on the final day. Various factors affected Chiefs' pursuit of the league title that season. The COVID-19 protocols forced them to play in a bubble, with no fans in attendance at the stadiums. Key players suffered injuries, rendering them unable to participate in crucial matches. While some criticised their playing style as helicopter football, it is important to note that tactical considerations are paramount in football. 
Brentford FC, for instance, has defeated prominent clubs in the Premier League by employing long balls. While beautiful football is undoubtedly pleasing to the eyes, ultimately, achieving desired results is of utmost importance. Kaiser Chiefs management made the controversial decision to sack Ernst Middendorp, despite his team's near triumph in the league. In hindsight, this move appears to have been a mistake. Additionally, the loss of George Maluleke and the impact of COVID-19 further disrupted the team's momentum that season. In the same season, Kaiser Chiefs faced a transfer ban for the illegal signing of a player named Dax. As a consequence, the club was forbidden from signing players for two transfer windows. Gavin Hunt assumed the role of head coach for the 2020-2021 season. As an experienced coach, having won the South African Premier Soccer League three times, Hunt was appointed to lead the club following Ernst Middendorp's departure. Although he faced challenges due to the transfer ban, Hunt guided Amakosi to their first ever CAF Champions League semi final. Unfortunately, he parted ways with the Glamour Boys in May 2021 after the club suffered a defeat against struggling Black Leopards in a Premier Soccer League match. It was an unfortunate tenure for Hunt as he was unable to sign players due to the transfer ban and did not receive the necessary support from the club. Stuart Baxter made a return to Kaiser Chiefs for the 2021-2022 season. During his second spell, he led the team to the CAF Champions League final, but they were defeated 3-0 by Al Ali. In his 23 matches, excluding three league matches in December 2021, Baxter secured nine victories, six draws and eight losses. The team scored 25 goals while conceding 23. Kaiser Chiefs and coach Stuart Baxter mutually agreed to terminate his contract with immediate effect. Arthur Zwayne took over as interim coach, and the club finished the season in eighth position. For the 2022-2023 season, Kaiser Chiefs appointed former player Arthur Zwayne as the head coach. While fans believed he was the right person to restore the club's glory days, his lack of coaching experience in the Premier Soccer League became evident. Unfortunately, Amakosi's trophy drought extended to eight years as Zwayne's uninspiring campaign ended in defeat in the Nedbank Cup semi-finals against arch-rivals Orlando Pirates and a fifth-place finish in the championship. Breaking the record, Zwayne's team suffered 12 losses marking the first time Kaiser Chiefs lost more than 10 games in a single campaign. What lies ahead for Arthur Zwayne and Kaiser Chiefs? Should the club continue to place their trust in Zwayne? Is the management to blame for this prolonged period without trophies? As we conclude this incredible journey, we invite you to appreciate the victories, learn from the defeats, and keep the spirit of the beautiful game alive. If you've enjoyed this captivating story, don't forget to hit that like button and share your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on more captivating tales from the world of football. Thank you for joining us on this rollercoaster ride through the rise and fall of this extraordinary football club.